All right, hello everyone, and for today's lesson, we're going to look at the background to the French Revolution. So our objectives and standards, to analyze the causes behind the French Revolution, and to understand the role of social classes in France leading up to the French Revolution. And there are our standards as well again. Our vocabulary preview, we have the old regime, estates, and the bourgeoisie. So once you think about this, what might some causes of revolution in a country be? Um, I'm sure you know about the American Revolution, or you've seen or heard other revolutions maybe in the news today or in the past. So what are some reasons why countries or governments may go through a revolution? And our central question, what were the leading or main causes of the French Revolution? So, fantastic France. So, France was looked up to by other countries in the 1700s for its strength and stability. If you remember from the age of absolutism, France was um, known for its social and cultural value. It also had a strong military. Um, so, a lot of countries around Europe and around the world at this time are going to look up to France um, for those reasons. However, even though things seem great on the outside, they're not so great on the inside. Uh, there were bad harvests, there were high prices, and high taxes going on in France. So the old regime. So the social and political order of France at this time was known as the old regime. So under this system, the people of France were divided into three social classes called estates. Okay, so here are the three estates. So the first estate was made up of members of the church and the clergy, and they owned 10% of the land in France. They also contributed 2% of their income to the government. Um, they also helped provide education and help to the poor. The second estate was known as the rich nobles. Uh, they made up 2% of the population, so a small group of the population, but they control a large amount of land. They controlled almost 20% of the land in France, and they also paid almost no taxes. The third estate had the largest amount of the population, had about 97% of the rest of France, and it consisted of three uh, smaller classes. The first was the bourgeoisie, or the middle class, who were factory owners, bankers, um, artisans, other professionals, people of that nature. The second was made up of workers and laborers, so people worked in the factory or were apprentices to you know, a workshop or whatever. And then the third, and the largest of these three, was the peasants, okay? And they're going to work the farmland and things like that. Now, the third estate believed that they were overtaxed and controlled by the other two estates, meaning the first estate and the second estate. Um, they also believed that, you know, they're paying heavy taxes, and they also believe that they have little to say in what goes on in the government. So this is going to lead to some frustration uh, in the third estate uh, against the other two social classes uh, during the time. So while we have this growing frustration in the lower classes, there were other factors that led to the French Revolution as well. Remember we talked about the Enlightenment ideas of liberty and freedom and rights for all men. These ideas are going to spread in France as well, like we said. I mean, they started in France pretty much, and they're going to spread in France um, to you know the lower classes, obviously. And these ideas are going to lead to people um, looking for a change in their government. There's also economic troubles, uh, especially with high taxes. Uh, this put pressure on businesses and merchants and um, has to do with trade. So businesses and merchants are also going to suffer from the economic troubles of this time. Um, there was a lot of spending by King Louis and his wife Marie Antoinette. Um, so that also played into the economic troubles. And also the, the weak leadership under King Louis and um, a lot of spending by his wife Marie Antoinette also caused uh, frustrations to rise uh, among the French people. So to wrap it up, so remember that the old regime and its class system is going to lead to frustration. The ideas of the Enlightenment in difficult economic times are also going to help spread this discontent or disapproval with the French government. And also poor leadership and spending by King Louis the uh, XVI and Marie Antoinette is also going to lead to this French Revolution, which we will talk about later this week. All right, so make sure you answer the questions, and please do the CYU that comes along with this lesson as well, and I will talk to you later.